Good morning from the Chessington World of Adventures Resort where the sun is shining and we're in for another beautiful day. I've not been yet this season. Yeah, I can't believe you've not been not yet. Been. Oh, we're near the end of June and Charlotte's not been to Chessington it's yet. It's shocking. It is shocking. We have perfect weather for it today. Get on lots of different rides, share some updates on the new additions for this year that are opening soon. And yeah, along with that, my wonderful mum and dad are joining us again here we're at Chessington. Again. We're staying in the hotels. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the vlog. We stayed in a zebra themed room last night and yeah it was very nice. It was really nice yeah. Yeah so come and join us in the sunshine here at Chessington. It's also the final couple of days of their Mardi Gras event so yeah I did film a full vlog from that a few weeks ago so check that out if you want to see it in detail but I'm sure throughout today we'll be seeing some more of the Mardi Gras celebrations too. Hey here we go and here's mum and dad on a bit of a dance just here. How are you both doing? Yeah. <laughs> Back at Chessington. Yeah, you're looking forward to it? Yeah. Another great day. We had a good time at Thorpe Park, didn't we? We did, yeah. yeah. It was lovely. Now, with Chessington, you've not been in the park for over 10 years, no. but you've stayed at the hotel before, haven't you? You know, yeah. when we've been to London and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's been loads of change. Obviously, with Thorpe Park, it hadn't really changed that much since you uh, last visited. However, with here, there's been a lot of uh, new rides and re themes, that sort of thing. Yeah. I don't remember much about it anyway. So. Last time you were here, it would have been like Bubble Works and yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. I do remember that, but that's not here now, is it? No, it's the Gruffalo now. So there's oh. been quite a few changes for you to see here you at Chessington. On, on oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Gruffalo's not too scary, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like Charlotte said, same ride, it's a nice little boat ride. Yeah, definitely, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and quiet. It is a weekday today when we're filming this. So yeah, hopefully we shouldn't be in for too big a wait at all. We've actually put some new theming in just here as well, as you can see, which is good. Yeah, that's also very similar to the vehicle that they've added down at the refurbished entrance to the park as well. So yeah, it's nice to see they're putting in little bits of theming throughout the park. So we're going to start off this morning down here in the wild woods with a ride on the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure. Yeah, queue time of just five minutes to start the day. I think we can uh, deal with that one, can't we, Charlotte? Five minute wait. Yeah, let's go on here. Yeah, last time it was uh, Bubble Works for you, this was. And obviously we can take you on board with this one too. Yeah, it's the same boat ride system as it was before, just with a different theme in, you know. Yeah, it's nice. Nice family ride. There he is. <laughs> is that your Gruffalo impression, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, Dad, you might get wet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are you all right? Oh, I'm wet. Oh, yeah. Oh. Thing is, when me and Charlotte come on, we don't normally get wet, do we? There's only two of us in. 
Yeah. Well, because yeah. well, we've got four adults in here, I think that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, it's going to be 28 degrees today. <laughs> and you know my little bubble man that we've got? He used to sit just there. That's where he, that's where he used to sit. And that was the Gruffalo. Well, we just did our first ride of the day there then, the Gruffalo, how was it? Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Was right. You got quite wet there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, you did, didn't you? I, you did got there, I think because there was four adults in the boat, yeah. that's what uh, you know, caused it there. Get a bit more of a wave coming over on the drop. Normally, it's just me and Charlotte. We don't really get anything there, do we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a well themed ride though, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Well, we'll carry on. We'll make our way down to some other rides. I wanted to go on this one, guys. Oh, oh yeah. on Sea Storm. Really well, it's been shut for a couple of years, but it's going to be reopening soon. This is the one I wanted to go on. Yeah. <laughs> well, this area is actually being completely transformed at the moment into Shipwreck Coast. And yeah, since I was last here, the fencing's come down and the ride has just been testing. So yeah, I'll put in a little bit of footage of that for you in just a second. Yeah, along with that as well, the former timber tugboat from Thorpe Park. That's now installed here, ready to go. And yeah, there's the new attraction just around the corner there as well, uh, which is going to be good fun. A little flat ride that's brand new that the park have purchased. Uh, we're going to be able to squirt the riders with guns from around the side and also with the water guns built onto the ride as well. And here we go. I don't need to put in the testing footage of this film because here it is in action. Sea Storm. And yeah, you've got the new bits of theming on there. And yeah, the area is being completely transformed. Shipwreck Coast opening spring 2022. Oh, it's, a bit <laughs> it's summer now, it's summer. officially summer now. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's far away now. No, I can't see it. The fact that this is testing, it's all built up, ready to go. I think we're a matter of weeks away from this opening. Maybe not even that long, to be honest. Next couple of weeks, I think this is going to be open and ready for riders. So yeah, you've got the existing Sea Storm flat ride here reopening. Timber tugboat that's come from Thorpe Park uh, with a refresh and new name for here, and then also a brand new ride as well. So yeah, really over summer there'll be the capacity for th of three more rides. Really good. Yeah, definitely needed at this park. But yeah, there you go, a little bit of testing. First time we've seen that running round in a couple of years. So from chatting to a member of staff just over at Sea Storm, it actually soft opened a couple of days ago, meaning that it should be opening again today. It's having a few teething issues this morning. But yeah, hopefully. We'll get on there later on. Yeah, fingers crossed, a great ride. Just thought I'd show you over at the Adventure Tree Carousel. How you've got all the water effects that are working up on there. And yeah, last time my parents were in the park, the monorail was still here operating. And it's your first time seeing that there, isn't it? Yeah, really nicely themed, yeah, with the carousel. I think there's been a lot of changes since you were last in this park, you know. I mean, it's still the same layout and that sort of thing, the park, but there's been a lot of changes, you know. Yeah, I don't remember seeing any of this. Yeah, it used to be very more blocked in this area, instead of being open like it is now. What used to be here, then? Uh, there was no right, it was just a, a more blocked in area than it, than it was now, you know. Oh my God, some big groups coming in, some school trips coming in, we best get on some more rides, haven't we? Yeah. Let's go and make the most of it. You know it's quiet down here at Scorpion Express where they're not even sending you around the main queue straight down the fast track way. That's really weird. Like, I've never done that before. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, not even using the main queue, just loading you straight on. Are you ready for a ride? We are. I think. But I think the last time you came on this, it used to be the runaway train and have all the rocks around it. Like, oh, it, is it that? Yeah, it used to be all in the rocks, you know. It's quite fast, but no, it's the same as flying fish. Yeah, yeah, it's the exact same ride, but obviously they just redid, redid the theme in, you know, took the rocks out. Did 
you enjoy your ride down Scorpion? I like the Scorpion Express, it's a great ride. Even better when you sat in the front. I know, I've never sat in the front before. Fun fact for you, Charlotte's never sat in the front of the Runaway Mine Train at Alton it's Towers so sad, either. It's now finally been able to sit in the front. Oh, I know, yeah, we need to get you on the front of the Mine we Train do. at Alton next time. Even though it's a local park, you've never been in the I've front. I've never been in the front. Crazy that is, crazy. And here's Mum and Dad, how did you, uh, how did you get on with that, alright? Yeah, it's good, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Good big breakfast. <laughs> you remember it though now, don't you? With all the mountains that there used to be on there. Yeah. You never really used to see it. A lot of it used to be hidden away in the, in the yeah, rockwork yeah, structure, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah there you go. Well, well, let's keep on riding, shall we? Hey, let's go on some more rides here at Chessington in the lovely sunshine. It's a Christmas miracle. Even though it's not Christmas, I can't believe it. Croc Drop is spinning again here at Chessington. I cannot believe it. We all thought it's days of spinning were over, but now it's officially spinning round again, which does really add to the ride experience. So I'm very pleased about that. Fantastic to see. Obviously this tower only opened last year, and a huge part of the experience is the fact it spins round because you get 360 degree panoramic views, not just of the park, but also over to central London. On a clear day like today, you can see Canary Wharf, you can see the Shard, and it's spinning again, which I'm really pleased to see. Oh, wait to get on this. Yeah, it's only a five minute wait. I don't think mum and dad are coming on this one. Um, but yeah, dad's not a huge fan of the drop towers. But yeah, five minute wait. We've got to go and have a ride on crop job, haven't we? And make the most of it. Especially now it's spinning again. So yeah, if you've already seen our vlog from the hotel here at Chessington, you'll know that we mentioned how they were using test dummies just here, uh, filling up with water, and yeah, putting them on crop drop uh, to test it. So obviously, this is quite a recent thing. Oh no, yeah, they just chucked here at the side, you know, this lovely themed area, chucked at the side, no theme music on, you wouldn't this ride only opened last year, would you? But um, yeah, there you go, all the dummies just at the side there, but I'm glad that it's spinning again. Really, you know, it should never have stopped spinning, should it? Uh, a, a new attraction, but at least it is spinning again now. Yeah, I mean, look at this, it's like five minutes, couple of cycles, we'll get on uh, Croc Drop just here, yeah, really nicely themed, all the detailing. Shame the audio is not on round here though. Silent. Job. I thought it was a fantastic addition to the park for last year and it's great to see it spinning again. I think it's a great addition to the park, I really like it. Yeah, all the theming, the audio, really as much as it. the audio wasn't working in the queue, it was on the ride itself, which is very nice. Uh, very dramatic, brave the drop, release the curse, chanting as you lift up and drop back down. And yeah, it's not just once up and once down, you get multiple drops on there. The spinning really adds to the experience and the views of London today. Yeah, really good. On such a clear day, you can see Wembley Stadium, you can see Canary Wharf, the Shard, right over into central London, and it really makes it. Uh, the ride's not even that tall, but it's the fact that Chessington's on a bit of a hill, uh, and it you look across. You feel like you're a lot yeah, taller. you can see for miles and miles on there. You gotta see at least what ten miles, probably exactly, further than yeah. that, for a ride that's not even that tall. Fantastic addition, in my opinion. And dare I say it, I think it fits this park so much better than Ramesses Revenge. Well, yeah. Never thought I'd say it. I loved Ramesses Revenge. I thought it was a great ride, but you know what? This fits Even in mate, so yeah. much better. A great family ride, a full experience. It was a fantastic addition to the park in my opinion. Here we go then, so we're making our way now down onto Zufari, riding to Africa. Nice family ride for us all. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> made me laugh then, Dad get took out by the tree then, didn't you? We were walking past there, but uh, yeah, random tree. I think they couldn't remove it, that's why. So they had to build round it like a protected tree. But uh, yeah, you remember when we went to Walt Disney World all them years ago? Oh, yes, I do. Animal Kingdom, we went on Kilimanjaro yeah. Safaris. Yeah. This is like a, a mini version of that, yeah, that we're going on just here. It's only a shorter version, but it's a nice ride and it's only a five minute wait. So yeah, we're gonna get on a big truck 
You're going to bounce about a bit. You get a bit of air time uh, on this. Yeah, bumpy roads down here in the Wanyama Village and Reserve. We have five minute waits for Zufari. So yeah, I'll have a nice ride on here. And it's another one that we can film on as well and take you along for the experience. Hold on tight at all times. Hold on to any cameras. Don't put your arms outside from here. Here they are. Don't put your arms outside from here. Here they are. You ready for your safari? <laughs> I love these incredible birds. They are easily identified by their pink plumage and for spending time. Bumpy, bumpy! I can stand on one leg. <laughs> and did you know that flamingos are not born pink? Yes! No. They're kind of Bit of airtime for you on here. Do you like the airtime, don't you? Exhibition vehicles are fitted with the very latest in satellite tracking technology. Oh, got all the lovely giraffes out this morning. Morning's actually a really good time to come on this ride. Camel of Pardalis. They got me on there because they look like a cross between a camel and a leopard. Put the two together and you get Camel of Pardalis. Now, look closely everyone and make note of how many animals you can see so that we can document the number of them. There they are, lovely giraffes. The giraffe population oh, has beautiful. Hello. In the past 30 years due to poaching and habitat loss. Oh, he's off. <laughs> <and giraffe. laughs> conservation by funding scientific research, field surveys, and improving security of the reserves. We think giraffes are some of the most amazing creatures on the planet. They, they are beautiful. Five years in the wild and can oh, grow as coming. tall as six meters. That's yeah. eight. Oh, the little baby That's one. Oh, but yes, and their long legs help them run at speeds of up to thirty-five miles per hour. Wow! That's as fast as a truck. Are you alright there? <laughs> nice seeing the giraffes though. Yeah. Yeah. Rhinos, I think. There they are. Hopefully you'll soon be seeing some more magnificent beasts. There they are. Rhino! The rhino around the reserve are white rhino. Now you may want to hold on to your noses for a bit here, researchers. For if you get rhino, you also get a lot of rhino dung. which is actually the same substance as your hair and fingernails and is highly prized in many cultures. The research team it belongs to, we recommend that you find an alternative route. But don't go too far off the track. Water. Heading into the cave, the question is, is the water effect going to work? Fingers crossed. It's a bit unreliable this effect normally. Straight through, no stopping. That's a shame. Predictable though now. <laughs> it shouldn't be, but it is. Can you hear us? What happened out there? We lost you for a moment. Welcome back, everyone. Now please remain fully seated. Well, we just did our ride there on Zufari. It was my parents' first time going on that. What did you think? Very nice. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Very close to the giraffes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be nice and close up to the animals. Yeah, it's a really nice ride. It's a shame that the finale didn't really work as it's supposed to. Um, I think it should have been a bit bigger. A little bit of a longer ride. Yeah. Mm, I think, you know, for me, if the cave doesn't work now, like it never seems to, they may as well do something else with it, put some more animals in there, or remove the cave and do something with it, really. Yeah, it was lovely. I enjoyed it. You having a nice day? Yeah, we Yeah, we got like quite a few rides done already to get started. But yeah, we're going to continue on around this way now and enjoy more of the park. Today yeah, it's still the Mardi Gras celebrations here at the park as well, as you can see. So we've got some of the entertainment here throughout the park with the different crews. Hey, bit of uh, Copacabana, here we go. Da, da, da. Her name was Charlotte. She was a showgirl. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I've got some sad news for you all at the moment. Tiger Rock. It's closed on one of the hottest days of the year. But we might have to go on these river rafts later on, possibly. Yeah, they, I mean, this gets a massive queue. Hopefully, they can get it open. Fingers crossed. Oh, got a bit of dancing going on here. <laughs> hey. Oh, I love it. But yeah, hopefully Tiger Rock will open later. 
Tomb Blaster's not open either. I find this with Chessington this year. Ride availability has been shocking here this year, so I hope it can get better. Fingers crossed, especially with them opening, you know, the three rides, uh, down in Shipwreck Coast, and then next year um, with the new area. Fingers crossed they can sort out the operations, because out of the Merlin Parks, it has been pretty weak here this year. Well, there's not even any water running around the trough at the moment here on Tiger Rock. So yeah, it's not looking good, is it? We're approaching lunchtime. It's been shut this morning. Yeah, it's a shame, especially on such a hot day like today. I mean, priority should definitely go into getting that fixed. Yeah, we'll see what happens later on with that one. Well, the sign down at Tiger Rock did say opening later, so we'll see if it actually does. And uh, yeah, there was no member of staff or anything down there, kind of telling you if it was going to open later on or giving out any information. So yeah, I'm not too sure, but we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we have made our way now round into Wild Asia. Charlotte's favourite just there. There she is, running about somewhere. <laughs> We're scared if the birds land on you, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, Laura keep landing this round here, which is quite a nice little area with all of the different birds flying around, and you're actually in with them. There's Mum posing for a nice photo just there. Oh, he's going gonna, he's gonna to poo on your head. Yeah, yeah he's going to poo on your head, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it, he's, he's going to do a poo, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Very nice and colourful though, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. It's like your dad's shirt. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> tropical. Right, we're having a go now on Monkey Swinger uh, just here, me and Charlotte on this one. And the good thing is, water effects are on. Hey, hang on a minute, Charlotte's coming on with water effects. What? What is going on? Yeah, it is funny because obviously all this water squirts up, shoots as you're going round, and it probably whacks you in the face, which Charlotte doesn't like on water rides. But she likes this. She makes no sense, honestly. I tell you what, though, Cobra, that's also closed. What is going on at Chessington with ride availability this year? Rattlesnake was shut when we walked past. Tomb Blaster, Tiger Rock, this as well. I mean, I understand that rides have technical issues and safety is always paramount, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on at Chessington this year, but there's a lot of downtime, a lot of downtime it's here. It's a shame, like, if you pay full price to come in as well, it's not too great. Yeah, it's not too bad when you've got annual passes and stuff, but it's, it's still not acceptable with travelling as well. You know, like, if, it, if Cobra's someone's favourite ride, or you, you, you can understand one or two rides maybe having issues. Big yeah, it's not great, is it? Yeah, not... communication as well, like not having staff outside the entrance and stuff. Yeah, it just see Chessington's just not on top form at the moment. No, it's it's a real shame about that. But still, we're going on Monkey Swinger. And yeah, looking forward to giving this a ride. <laughs> Monkey Swinger. Oh, you love it though. Yeah, it's quite funny. Isn't it? What's the difference between getting soaked on there and on tidal wave yesterday? It's a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not even a light sprinkle on there. No. You can't even tell on the camera, but. We're up the yeah, you're best sitting on either the outside seats or the ones in the middle there. But it all depends on you know where you sat. Exactly, yeah. yeah, so on the inner seats you don't really get much. But oh blimey, it's a good ride that. Really good fun. Yeah, dripping wet through. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, I do enjoy a ride on Monkey Swinger, especially on a day like today. Cobra's testing over there now, so maybe that's about to open up. So we might be able to just get on there without a queue, possibly. Yeah, it's not too busy here today at Chessington. It's a good job, really, with them having four major rides down. Well, hey, here we go, we've got our own little Mardi Gras show going on down here at Chessington. <laughs> the Clawsome crew changed a little bit. Here we go, when the rhythm, rhythm starts to play. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Yeah, great theming for the stages as well. For Mardi Gras. We're just going to leave them there now. Me and Dad are off. We'll leave them there dancing all day. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, we're having a lovely day in the glorious sunshine here at Chessington World of Adventures. And yeah, we also filmed an update on Project Amazon, which has now gone vertical. And yeah, that's already online here on the channel. So make sure that you check it out. Doing you all the latest updates on their brand new area 
opening in 2023. So here they are going on Sea Storm, and it's quite funny because they're in the Titanic right here. Yeah, I tell you what though, it's good to see this back open for the first time in nearly a couple of years. Had a refurbishment, some new bits of theming around. Let's see how it rides. It's sure it's going to get some footage. And me and my lovely mother on here. Are you ready? I might squash you though. <laughs> and they're off. The question is, is theirs going to go backwards? Which would be quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, oh no, they're going forwards. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> Quite a good fun ride, this is. Oh, now they're going backwards! <laughs> they didn't escape the backwards section. <laughs> I don't think she was expecting that. Squash it, me! And finished. Seems like quite a short cycle that one does, but I think they enjoyed it. How was your ride there then on Sea Storm? I liked it. Yeah, 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 I can't believe it opened up for us. It did, just for me. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but now honestly, it's great to see that ride back in action. I mean, the refurbishment took longer than it should have, but it's back in action. I like that ride, I can cope with that one. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, Dad, you don't like the spinning stuff, do you no, like that? Same sort of motion, just gets me stuck. Yeah, coasters, you're not too bad, unless the launch coasters anyway. But uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like you don't mind, but yeah, it's the continuous motion, isn't yeah. it? And stuff like a pirate ship as well, you don't really like that no, swinging really motion really. like that, do you? But uh, I tell you what, having a lovely day in the sunshine, we've got some beads on. We went to watch the big Mardi Gras show on the main stage. I didn't film any of that because I did a full vlog from Chessington Mardi Gras uh, only a few weeks ago, so check it out. And obviously the event's coming to an end over the next couple of days, but I'm sure it'll be back next year. And we've got uh, Wilder Fest that's coming back over summer as well. So yeah, I look forward to covering that. So we've made our way over to Amazon now. What have we come to see, Charlotte? We've come to see the raccoons. Raccoons. You oh, like raccoons, like raccoons, don't you? We are going to go and see the goats shortly as well. Yeah. First time for you seeing these goats this year. No, it is. I haven't seen this year's goats. They've missed you. They're being yeah. fed, the raccoons. Yeah, raccoon feeding going on. I think they might be a bit of a talk. Raccoons, they're nice, aren't they, raccoons? Yeah. Here they are. They're a bit vicious. He's jumping up, look. I think I'll get to hold one. I don't think you're going to get to hold one. You've got to pay extra for that sort of oh, stuff. Oh, look at these. Here's the raccoons. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Quite big, aren't they, raccoons, just there? Raccoons. <laughs> Another close-up of the lovely raccoons just here as well. <laughs> they're nice. Got some skunks over here as well. Look at these. It's over at the side there. They're getting fed as well on this lovely afternoon. <laughs> Enjoying the sunshine. We want more food. Long no, we know that one. We've learned that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love seeing the raccoons just there as well. Really nice, aren't they, them, Charlotte? I love the raccoons. We've come to see the goats now. They're closed for health checks. Oh, is that why it's closed? Is it? Ah, oh, there you go. There's a sign. Yeah. So as you can see, it's all blocked off at the moment. Got to look after the animals, though. That's always the priority. Where yeah, we can see the goats just over there in the shade and just about make them out. Lovely goats here at Chessington. We have this, the Yoohoo Children's Zoo. You're not a fan of them goats? Why? I like the big long goats. Goats are goats, Charlotte. Goats are goats. Oh, I didn't see the other one behind. Yeah, yeah, they're Oh, that's either honey or maple, that one is at the back. Yeah, they're nice, the goats. And then there's a sheep. But we've also heard that apparently they're moving some of the goats yeah, okay. down to the Blue Barnacle. Yeah, so I'll be riding that more often. Yeah, we'll have to have a look down there and see if anything's happened around there for them. But yeah, that'll be quite interesting to see. Obviously, Chessington are trying to kind of integrate the animals more around the ride areas. Um, but yeah, they know what they're doing here at Chessington when it comes to animal welfare. So yeah, I look forward to seeing uh, what they do with that. Always lovely to see the animals here at Chessington. And yeah, we'll be having a walk through the Trail of the King shortly. Yeah, we thought we'd go through Room on the Broom, a magical journey. Because obviously, last time our parents were here, it was Hocus Pocus this. Yeah, I'll have a little stroll through. It's absolutely walk on. Oh. 
Press all the buttons. There's Charlotte in there. Hello, me. <laughs> Peeking over the construction fences. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got a bit of a fail down here at the end. Oh no, the Delta Media Server. Has failed, as we can see. We've got a few problems. We've just got the desktop. Oh, <laughs> that's quite funny. Isn't it? I do like it when we see uh, stuff like this. There you go. <laughs> got all the different folders and files just over there. Oh dear, we're not going to get the big finale. Back outside then now, and yeah, as you can see, the penguin exhibit's having some big changes made to it at the moment. So yeah, looking forward to seeing that when it's done all the fencing around here. There is a lot of work going on at Chessington, you know, and it's good to see that work happening. I do feel like this sort of stuff should be done over the closed season. Uh, however, it is good to see it getting done. I know we're going to have a little walk through sea life now because, yeah, they've actually finished um, the new entrance down there. I have been through, but I've not filmed a vlog since. And, yeah, they've got some great new theming inside the sea life. And you've not seen this either, Charlotte. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's when you go in now. It looks a bit generic before. It's beautifully themed now, but I've not filmed the vlog since. So, yeah, I'll have a little walk through and I'll uh, get that all for you. Got the nice signage down here then. Welcome to Sea Life Chessington, which is a great photo opportunity as soon as you come in here. So you got all of this new theming just here, which is very nice. Yeah, it looks a little bit more like Shark Bait Reef by Sea Life now in Mutiny Bay at Alton Towers. And yeah, how nice is this? All the theming. It looked very generic in here before, so it's great how they've added a lot more theming into this first section. All the flooring's themed in as well, like you walk in the plank. I do find fish really nice and relaxing, they are great. And yeah, I went to a fantastic aquarium over in Antalya, Turkey last week. And yeah, you can see that video over on Adventure Shore on my second channel. So make sure you go and check it out. That tunnel was absolutely massive there. Yeah, it just looks so much better in here than it did before. Lots of details, all the ropes, some nice lighting effects as well, which is fantastic to see. Oh, there's a lovely fish. Look into the main ocean tank just there. Yeah, you can just see the side of the tunnel there as well. But honestly, the size of that tunnel in Turkey, the world's longest ocean tunnel. So yeah, it's well worth going to check out that vlog on Adventure Sean so you can see that. Massive. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the new theme. I think they've done a good job. A few more details in here would be nice. But yeah, overall, it's good to see. I do you like the Sea Life Centre? Just add something else to the experience here at Chessington. Ray's just down there. Mum getting a good photo down there, are you? Yeah. <laughs> getting a nice picture. 
Enjoying sea life. Yeah, it's actually pretty much the same layout as Shark Bait Reef. Yeah, Alton Towers. Oh, he's got an angry face at the top just there. Furious. Love how a jellyfish moves just there. <laughs> really satisfying to watch. So here we have the giant lime green stick insect. There we go. Oh, I, can't I can't even see any. Where are, are they? It's supposed to be giant. Stick yeah. insect. Is it? Oh, mum fan. Uh, oh, no, uh, that isn't a uh, stick uh, insect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you oh, go. Yeah, yeah, that's not a sticky <laughs> that, 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 that was the emerald tree skink that you've just seen there. Yeah, the well, I can't see him. I do, oh, I see he's a branch. I still work. Oh, oh, there you go. There's something else up there. Isn't it? I don't know. No, hanging but, but, off. But this is the stick oh, oh, what, there is you that hanging up there? That's right. Is it the emerald tree skink or no, not? That's a prank. No, that's definitely <laughs> the emerald tree skink. <laughs> Well, that is not a stick insect, oh dear. Or do you reckon that there he is. And here we are into the ocean tunnel. There's the plane just over there, Aztec 1, I think it says on the side. Yeah, the propeller doesn't spin around anymore. Maybe they've done that because it was hurting the fish, I'm not too sure. A little bit of footage there from inside the Chessington Sea Life Centre and yeah it's really good to see they've enhanced some of the theming there at the start. It's really good now because it's pretty well themed throughout the entire experience. The entrance was always weaker than the rest of it. So yeah it's nice how they have done that. Going to continue on then now through Trail of the Kings, the main part of the zoo. Probably not going to see loads of animals today because it is baking hot. Uh, we'll have a little stroll through and see if we can see anything. Starting off then with the gorillas just here. Yeah, I'm surprised that they're out there in the sun, to be honest, but it seems like they're quite enjoying it. But it might be a bit too hot for them. Yeah, you got a few. Don't know where the silverback is. A massive one. Not too sure. I'm sure Charlotte will have an update for us. Oh, he's swinging down here. Here he comes. Up nice and close. <laughs> there he is. He's coming into the shade. You like the gorillas, do you? Got this little fella just over here, he's come out to say hello. You right there mate? He's having to sit down in the shade there. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have the silverback. There we go, you like the silverback don't you? Look at him. Absolutely massive, obviously he's sitting down there at the moment in the shade here. When you see him stood up. Oh, absolutely huge, the silverback gorilla. Yeah, well, he's just chilling out the silverback, but we've got another one just here. Here we go. Dad's just uh, checking his size there. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it shows, though, like how long a silverback's arms are. Like, look at that. Like, crazy, isn't it? The size. There you go. He's huge. Silverback. Silverback Allen. Here we come, plodding along then to the opening day of the new coaster for next year. Plodding in. Me and Charlotte there as penguins. <laughs> Yeah, they've got them just down here. Obviously, they're redoing the main penguin exhibit, as we saw earlier on. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing that when it's done. Yeah, at the moment, you've got penguins just down here. I'm finally down here in Trail of the Kings. We've got the red fox just down here. What does the fox say? There he is. What the fox say? There we go. <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs> Here we go then, time for a coaster ride now. Daddy O, are you ready? Yeah. Hey. Right, We're going on Vampire, advertised only 10 minutes. Yeah, not too bad, that's all right, that ain't it? 10 minute wait. Yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. It is a great coaster, a classic here at the park. You ready, Charlotte? Yeah. First ride of the year on here for Charlotte as well. So yeah, let's go on Vampire. The great thing about this queue line is that it's all in the shade, which is perfect for a nice hot day like this. As much as the weather's lovely, it is very, very hot. So yeah, it's perfect down here in the shade. Love the music, the ambience around this ride. An absolute classic here at the park. The question is though, 
Are we going to be seeing this ride have some sort of major refurbishment in the future? I definitely think so. It wouldn't surprise me if we see the supports and a retrack on this at some point in the next few years. Wait until they've got the new coaster open next year and then uh, maybe let that kind of set in a little bit. And it wouldn't surprise me if we see Vampire Clothes and have the Nemesis treatment, as I call it. Because it's an older ride. This is now open way back in 1990. Love these bats just hanging upside down here. <laughs> Little skeleton of one just there. Oh, here we go. Abandon all hope. Very atmospheric queue line. Still one of the best queues in the country. All the flickering lights, the music, the ambience. And there he is, the main man himself down the bottom playing his organ. <laughs> what a station. Just coming back to you a bit now, Dad, and here. Can't remember, can't, can't remember it, no? <laughs> Sit back, hold tight, the vampire is taking flight. Bayloader just so loads of empty seats going out. Luckily, it's not too busy. So, here we thought we may as well just come down here and wait for the next one. Get on the front, front row vampire. Here we go. See you when we come off. Vampire there then for you on the front row. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, you liked it. I don't remember doing it before, but I must have done. But... Yeah, you definitely did it. Yeah, but uh, no, at least you got on there on the yeah, front row. I mean, they're a bit bulky there, aren't they? Yeah, that's the thing. It's a 32-year-old ride now, and you've got to think as well. You know, rides like this have come a long way. You look at like the newer Vacoma family suspended coasters, like Flight of the Pterosaur back at Poulton's Park, stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to be seeing, I think, here in the future. A full, complete rebuild of this. New trains on here. Obviously, these trains are built by Vacoma, not Arrow. And yeah, these trains have been running on here now since 2002. So yeah, it's been 20 years since they replaced the old Arrow trains. You know, only ran with them for a short period of its lifespan, really. Yeah, 20 years of these. So yeah, I do think we're going to be seeing a full retract, redo of the supports, and new trains on there in the future. And it does need it. You know, it's a great ride, but um, yeah, I'd love to see it maybe have a purple colour scheme. I think that'd be quite nice. Black supports, purple track. But uh, yeah, I reckon they're going to do that as soon as the new coast is open and probably the, they'll let the new coast settle in a little bit and they'll close this for a year and do the Nemesis um, retrack treatment on here, you know, on Vampire. Just down here now then, the Blue Barnacle. Yeah, I just thought we'd have a bit of an investigate, see if we can see where these goats are possibly going to go down here. Yeah, interesting. I don't really know what goats have got to do with pirates or shipwreck coast as it's going to be called. But yeah, here's a look. Down here at the Blue Barnacle. It's a very pretty pirate ship. It really is. Very nice ride. I do miss the Black Buccaneer with how it used to ride. However, this is still a nice family attraction. It really is. Now yeah, give you all a bit of footage of it in action. But yeah, I don't know. Where are the goats going to go? Maybe just on the side just here? I really don't know. Can't see anything what looks like it's going to be goats, but we will find out, I guess. <laughs> Talking of shipwreck coast, just noticed actually how they put a lot more theming up on the buildings here, which is really good to see. Yeah, all sorts of nautical themed items on there, like the anchors ropes You've got some more netting just on the side there as well yeah more theming is always a good thing it's the smaller details that go a long way hey mom's enjoying the entertainment down here bit of chocolatey this brings back the butlin's memories this does doesn't it 
Going to Butlins. Choco, choco, choco. That's it. Choco, choco. Hey. <laughs> Loving it. Alma's flying colour crew down here on Adventure Point. Hey, choco latte. Oh, here comes Charlotte. Anywhere where there's dancing, Charlotte's going to be here too. People on the right hand side now wave to the people with the pretty backsides. And we're doing it again. And we feel all right. Hey. <laughs> Fantastic, right, let's go on some more rides. <laughs> Just a 10 minute wait then for the rattlesnake, our next ride. Are you enjoying it, Charlotte? Yeah. In the sunshine today, it is lush, it really is. I was hoping for Tiger Rock, but there's only like 90 minutes left, so we'll see what happens. Good news is though, Tomb Blaster's back open, so we'll have a go on there shortly. But yeah, let's have a ride on here. So yeah, this was actually one of my first bigger coasters, this was. Is there of the rattlesnake in action? How was it for you going back on there? It's all right, that was. Oh, yeah. I know, yeah. I always remember Dad taking me off one of my first ever coaster rides on there. I think that was the there. first. That was the first. One. It was. It was a big ride, you know. Them little dips and airtime moments on there back in the day. Fly me crazy. But uh, look where I am now. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's quite special, really, being here uh, with this ride with my wonderful dad as well. Uh, where it all started, really, going on the bigger ride. And rattlesnake still going strong here at Chessington. How was your ride, Charlotte? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, it is one of the older rides, but you know what? I do like a good old classic wild mouse. The dips and the turns, you don't know what's coming, do you, on that? You go through all like, the wooden sheds and structures, and you don't know what's happening on there. You know, I really do like it. Great ride here at Chessington. Up next, you ready for a bit of shooting? Yeah, yeah. we'll do. Yeah. Tomb Blaster. 15 minute wait then for Tomb Blaster. It's time to go and defeat the curse. I don't even think it's 15 minutes, to be honest. I'll tell you what though, I think they've got some sort of audio issues going on at Chessington because we've noticed like loads of audio not working. And it's the same in here, it's just silence. It's the same at Crop Drop and just in a few other areas around the park. <coughs> Walk straight on, no cue. The boulder's spinning, but it's not coming down. Predictable. <laughs> you know it's a hot day when they've got all the air vents open. That's quite rare to see. It does ruin the immersion a little bit, but without it, it would be baking hot. targets have fallen off in his mouth and they're just hanging there. <laughs> it's quite funny. Loads of lights broken here. I've got to say, that was a very disappointing ride there on Tomb Blaster. Loads of effects and lighting broken. Really sad to see. The ride's quite good, but it's not in the best state. They only had a refurbishment in 2020 as well. You know, I mean, what you saw of it, you quite liked, didn't you, Thebim? Yeah, yeah, but I've never been on it before, so, you know, I thought it was good, yeah. Yeah, and you've been on it, I think, you know, yeah, but, yeah, a long, long time ago. You know, it's hard to remember, isn't it? Yeah, but, but what we saw was good. Yeah. We don't know what was missing. No. Yeah, it's a lot of lighting issues and yeah. stuff throughout. You know, considering it only had a refurb just before the pandemic. Yeah, it's in a bit of a state that is, unfortunately. But yeah, you got this lovely uh, fountain just here. It's very nice waterfall. Sorry, it's lovely coming out of the skull just there. There you go, Charlotte. We'll push you in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. That great photo opportunity just down here. 
Well, we got no Tiger Rock still, unfortunately, here at Chessington's. Yeah, it does mean the queue for the river rafts here in the rainforest area is pretty big, guys. I would have given this a go because it's a good fun ride. I mean, I've actually been on it once here as well, but yeah, it's a shame that the main flume attraction is closed on such a nice day, but obviously it can't be helped with technical issues. At least the other bits opened up. So it is nice down here in the rainforest. Would like to go on there, but the queue, huge, 30 minutes. I thought we'd come for a little ride here on Jungle Rangers. Only about a five minute queue just there. Here in the rainforest. What's really cool about this is that you've actually got the real animals all the way around the ride. I don't know if we'll see any today. But they've been so hot. Yeah, you got the capybara just out. Around here. I fed them a few years ago. Nice little behind the scenes tour. Did you press the button, Charlotte? Is there anything else? They're normally around here. What is really cool though, some of the animals actually climb up on I've this little podium. Yeah, and they walk across like above the ride vehicle. Which is pretty cool. You have to be really quiet so as not to disturb that beautiful panther. Is there? Hey, who we got, Charlotte? There he is. Hey. There's a couple of them. Is there? <laughs> it's like a big hamster, isn't it? Yeah, he is like a big hamster. There's mum and dad over there. Hey! They've only got four vehicles on, but there they are. You're not allowed four adults in one. No one's steering over there. You're gonna crash, yeah. <laughs> Very friendly. Wow. There he is. Look at that. He's lovely. I really like him. I fed him as well. Unbelievable. And there is that mini flume ride. River rafts, it is a soaker as well. I would definitely have done it if the queue wasn't massive. It's a low throughput ride. But it is good fun. The creature here is an Some random bits of theming. This is what I want to see more of in the park. Yeah, just random bits like this. Just adds to it. Doesn't really have any relevance to the storyline or anything. Just makes it nice to look at on the road. Some bananas just there. And that's our ride. Jungle Rangers. Nice ride there on Jungle Rangers. And yeah, you don't see this very often. 15 minute wait for Dragon's Fury just here. Really good fun spinning coaster. I tell you what though, Charlotte, I'm not impressed with your driving on there. It was shocking. <laughs> yeah, let's have a nice ride round on here. Fantastic Maurison spinning coaster. So much better than Spinball with that. Yeah, I really like it. With the theming and the layout of it. It's a really nice attraction. I very much enjoy getting on there. And even better, woo! We don't have to wait that long. Oh, no. Well, we've decided to do one more ride. We're going to send these on Griffin's Galleon just down yeah. here. Uh, so, Mum and Dad can do one last ride here at the park. I say that, I don't know if Dad will go on or not. Oh, I don't it know. might be a bit much for him, but Mum will go on. Nice little boat ride that they've got just down here in Land of the Dragons. Before we wrap up today's vlog, here from Chessington. Last ride of the day then here at Chessington, Griffin's Galleon. <laughs> There's mum and dad on this side. Oh, it's so nice to see them in a park, smiling, having a good time, bringing back their memories. Charlotte there as well, arms in the air. Oh, what a fantastic day we've had. What a great two days we've had down here. Check out the vlog from Thorpe Park if you haven't already seen it. 
along with that the project Amazon construction update and along with that as well staying over in the zebra themed room hey this is all right for them I think they're enjoying it yeah <laughs> oh what a great couple of days quality family time that's what it's all about it's been lovely Well, it's come to the end of our day here at Chessington World of Adventures. Have you both had a nice day? It's been really good. Yeah. yeah. I really enjoyed it. You yeah. look like you had full on Griffin's Galleon just there as well. Yeah. yeah it was good, yeah. I'm glad the water thing wasn't on actually because they would have talked about it. Oh, Tiger Rock? Yeah. Oh, could have got you on the log flume, yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, you've enjoyed getting back to the park. Rides, yeah, we've done a lot, you know. Some memories, it? Yeah, nice family park. And you remember a few bits, don't you? Yeah. But there's also been a lot of change. Oh, it's been perfect, hasn't it? Well, thank you very much to my wonderful parents for appearing over the past couple of days. I'm sure, uh, you know, the viewers have enjoyed your nice little appearance. You know, every so often they always pop up on the channel. But uh, there you go, my wonderful parents, Mel and Alan here on Theme Park Worldwide. They will be back in future videos, so stay tuned for that. And that brings us to the end of our day here at Chessington World of Adventures, and of course our little trip down south. Have you enjoyed your day? Yeah, it's been lovely, I've really enjoyed it. We've got quite a lot of rides in. Yeah, I think so. You know, I didn't really know how busy it was going to be today, and to be honest, we have got a lot of attractions yeah, in. Have, yeah. You know, on weekends when I tend to have visited this year, it's very been busy. very busy, and the fact that there's been a lot of ride downtime this year as well hasn't helped. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot today. Yeah, we've done quite a bit. Shame about Tiger Rock, and also Cobra being closed as well. There was that one point when there was four big rides yeah, closed was, which yeah. isn't great however we got on sea storm today yeah, yeah i enjoyed that i say we i got, I got to see you off yeah <laughs> you got to good. see it but so uh, yeah sea storm i wasn't expecting that and of course shipwreck coast will be fully opening soon them other two rides look so close they now do, yeah a little bit of theming going in around there goodbye to the pirates and a load of shipwreck coast yeah nice name for it a little bit different a little bit less generic as well uh, but overall operations have been pretty solid throughout today and uh, yeah if you haven't already check out our project Amazon update that's gone vertical and it looks really exciting doesn't it? It does yeah really exciting. But yeah stay tuned we've got lots more vlogs coming up over summer here on Theme Park Worldwide lots more in the UK over the next couple of weeks and then we're going to Denmark and Sweden. Oh I'm so excited now. Yeah so am I it's going to be a lot warmer hopefully than yeah, our last trip. I know. Uh, we're going to a couple of parts we did before but you know what loads of new things coming up first time going to Bonbon Land uh, along with that just Summerland for the first time and of course Charlotte's first time going into uh, Liseberg. Exactly, I can't wait. Colmarden with animals as well. Uh, massive RMC and uh, lots of fun at Gronalond coming up as well. So all of that to look forward to this summer here on Theme Park Worldwide. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you all in the next vlog.